and welcome to sugar and spice today we are going to look at a very simple and tasty recipe which is milk fudge and it doesn't take much time and it also requires very few ingredients so let's start cooking make this sweet i'm going to use 3 tablespoons of homemade ghee you can see that i have not put this on the stove i have put it on the platform the description for the homemade ghee i will be posting in the link below now to this i am going to add half a cup of sugar just give it a good stir and then i am going to add half a cup of milk i am going to stir it well just make sure that the sugar completely dissolves the sugar is almost dissolved now at this time i'm going to add 2 cups of milk powder i'll just add it in small batches i'll just make sure that this is completely dissolved in this mixture without any lumps my first batch of milk powder is almost mixed well so now i'm going to add the rest of it and just mix it completely just make sure there should not be any lumps before you put this on the stove you can see that the milk powder is well combined at this time let's move over to the stove i put the mixture on the stove now and i'm also shifting from a steel spoon to a wooden spatula and you can see that the sweet has already started to thicken and i've put it on sim so whenever you make a sweet always remember to cook on a low flame so that you have control over the mixture it's almost 4 minutes since i've been stirring and you can see that the mixture has started to thicken it's always easy to use a non stick pan when we make sweets because the chances of it catching at the bottom can be reduced so let, let's keep stirring for another couple of minutes i've been stirring for almost 10 minutes now since the time i put this on the stove and i've been doing it on sim you can see how the mixture is dancing and you can also see it has slowly started to leave the ghee on the sides it's going to take another 4 to 5 minutes when it will be finally done it's almost 4 minutes now so in all it has taken me 15 minutes so let's check if this mixture is ready i'm just going to take a small piece into a bowl just leave it so that it cools down a bit but at the same time i've come back to the stove so that i can keep stirring the mixture it's almost 4 minutes now so in all it has taken me 15 minutes so let's check if this mixture is ready i'm just going to take a small piece into a bowl just leave it so that it cools down a bit but at the same time i've come back to the stove so that i can keep stirring the mixture i'm 
the mixture must have sufficiently cooled so let's check if this is firm you can see that I'm able to form a nice ball it means that it's ready so at this time I'm going to switch off the flame and transfer the contents into a bowl and allow this to cool at least to the time that I'm able to manage this I've shifted this to a bowl and I'm going to allow this to cool my sweet is almost cool to touch now so let's start making balls but before that I'm going to grease my palm with a little bit of ghee so it's easy for me to make balls and also since I don't want the mixture to stick to my hand and it becomes very easy when I roll so I've just taken a small amount of the sweet and I've made a ball and using a cupcake liner I'm going to place it in the liner and I'm also going to garnish with a pista now in the same way I'm going to prepare all my fudge balls so my milk fudge is ready I have placed them in cupcake liners and garnished them with pista and in another plate I have garnished them with chocolate chips so the choice is yours you can either use dry nuts or you can use uh, chocolate chips as well and if you like this recipe don't forget to give us a like share and subscribe to sugar and spice bye